There we go. There we go. Hi, everybody. Good evening, everyone. We're back. Anybody coming to see us? It's a Thursday. I think we're a middle, a minute early, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, a minute. A minute early. A minute. Yeah, we are. Oh, look, Perchard's now live. This is got a notification. Five. Excellent. Yeah. We must be live then. I might join us. <laughs> join them. Cool. Sorry, we need to learn to get set up before we go live, don't we? Am I joined now? Yeah. Uh, excellent. Excellent. We've got somebody on. Who is it? I wonder. Oh, Emily. Hi, Emily. Hi, Emily. It's Brody's friend. Oh, you're all right. Yeah. How are you, Emily? You all right? Four people. Joined. You having a good week? I hope you are. Silence. Uh, <laughs> no, we're still, still getting you still really. getting used to these lives, aren't six we? Six people, four, six people. Hi Chris. Hi Chris. Yeah, we're trying another live. Still quite nerve wracking. Uh, who's um who's Chris? He's a vlogger. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I don't think Martin's watched any of your vlogs, I think it's on the uh, main. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, we're good, thanks. We are good. It's been another busy week. Another one. Moving children back and forward, as you do. Hey. Yeah, Quinn's moved back up to uni. Well, moved the stuff up. She doesn't go back for two weeks. Had a busy day, didn't you? Yeah, moved um, basically Quinn's whole life up to Lincoln. And then, le <laughs> oh, <laughs> and then left it there and brought her back. And she goes back. 23rd. 23rd, oh, yeah, yeah, week Sunday, week on Sunday. Um, she goes back for good. Brody's doing well. Brody is loving it. Did you see the photo she put on, uh, the video she put on Facebook, Emily? She's doing really well. She's loving her new college. Yeah, long It is a nice cup of tea, yeah. <laughs> Your cup of tea as well, Martin. I've got a cup of tea. Mm. I've got a black coffee. Black coffee. I'm trying to stay awake because I've been getting up pretty much the same sort of time as Brody every morning. She gets up at half five, so I've been mm. getting up at sort of six ish. And I'm knackered. I'm so struggling to keep up with her, aren't I? Yeah, I actually had to have a bit of a granddad nap yesterday. I could call it a granddad nap because I'm granddad now. Yeah. Um, you had about an hour, didn't you? About an hour yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I'm struggling. But she's got a few years on me. Yeah, just a bit younger. Mm. <laughs> thought we were all having a lovely week. We thought we'd try Thursday again. We're thinking maybe we might go half an hour. Oh, nice fly on the iPad there. Thought we might go half an hour earlier next week. Mm. But we shall see. We shall see. See how the half nine one goes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's good. Six people are on now. Mm. Hello oh. to all six of you. Mm. Yeah. Seven. No one's joined. Seven. Is that? Excellent. And we've got a thumbs up. <laughs> you got really happy pitched. Oh, do I? I think last week Martin said four times. Wasn't what? it? Oh, this is good. Yeah, this is really good. It is. I like it. Super proud of her. And sorry, just try it. I've, again, I've got the laptops out here so I can keep up with the chat. Um, Emily, that's really funny you should ask that, actually. I stopped doing hauls about six months ago. Um, but I, I did say I'll probably do a Christmas one. I'll probably get a good old Poundland Christmas haul. Oh, loads of sweets, because then I'll get to eat them all. Mm. Lots of sweets? Yeah, it's a lot of sweeties. All right, I'll just do a Poundland sweetie haul. Yeah. Yeah, because you supplied. Christmas sweets, I like yeah. mm. I'd never good. drink, I'd never sleep if I drank coffee at this time. Yeah, you never sleep, Chris, do you? Young daughter. And animals, yeah. I could drink loads of coffee and still sleep. Co yeah, you're all right with coffee. You could sleep on the end of a blooming pencil, couldn't you? I don't know about that. I'm well, I don't know why I've just seen pencil. I've never actually seen you sleep on the end of a pencil. No, no, I've not done that That's your often. next challenge. Yeah. Um, Daniel, hi. Thanks for dropping by. Martin's sweet, so I can eat them. Yeah, he loves his yeah. sweeties. He's terrible. He's worse than kids. Mm. Absolutely worse than kids. Oh, Daniel, please. correct me if I'm wrong. Do I recognise your name from Mimstream? Or am I completely wrong? I could be. 
I know, I don't know why I say yeah, pencil. pencil. Yeah, it's right. the nervous <laughs> life thing. You could sleep on the edge of a knife, isn't it? Is that a thing? No, that's even worse. I'm not going to sleep on the edge of a knife. <laughs> that's like about Martin Yeah, it? that's really oh, <laughs> I'm just going to leave up and up. <laughs> Martin could sleep anywhere. I could sleep standing up. That'll do. Yeah. Yeah, Daniel, hi. I thought I recognised your name. Hi, thanks for coming by. Let me know what Martin could sleep on the edge of. That's, did we get it? Heaven. And you could sleep on the edge I of heaven. I could sleep on the edge of heaven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. let's see that. Yeah. yeah, anyway, yeah, you could sleep and eat sweeties. <laughs> Actually, you did try both a couple of times. Probably too much information, but Martin used to like to go to bed with a packet of sweeties. And the amount of times... And, and the wife, she comes along too, oh, not yeah. just a packet of sweeties. But the amount of times where he's been lying falling asleep and you just started choking on your sweeties... Remember? <laughs> it's really not that funny. It's very funny. Yeah, to wake obviously. up and you hear your husband choking on sweetie. Yeah. End mm. of that story then. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thanks Sorry. for that. Yeah. yeah, so he's not allowed hard sweeties in bed now. Yeah, because I'm only five. Yeah. See if you can get that for you in a public use. You can sleep on a pencil and I'm going to use that and see it. Go for it. Let me know how you get on. Yeah. It could yeah. be a hashtag, couldn't it? No, it couldn't. It could be Twitter famous. It would need yeah. to be a, no. I remember when you used to go to Blackpool and you got the pencil, pencil cases that were in the shape of a pencil. Can you remember? Oh, and right. they zipped at the top. You could sleep on the edge of one of them. Okay. Martin, you've been watching some more old movie. Get weird now. Hey, have I been it's fucking weird. <laughs> have you watched some more? We old were discussing movies, movies before. Oh we? yeah, yeah, we were. No, I've been too busy to watch anything. I've been watching Bake Off. Um, and um, it doesn't sound so happy about it. It does really enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good. I just look forward to the, the, the Paul Hollywood handshake because it's really cool. Mm, yeah, Paul he's given far too many away. It's ridiculous. Yeah, he's but been now, free I've, with them this series. Yeah, I've not been it? watching films now. I've been busy. I'm upgrading our motorhome. I've been spending some time um, changing all the lights of LEDs, and I've got two batteries in order. Should have turned up today. I'm upgrading the electric batteries. Try and give us more power when we're off grid. We're modernising the inside. Well, we, that's the royal way. I use Marie the royal way quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I just added to his to-do list. So yeah, we're sort of up, up modernising the, the inside up as well. Modernizing, up modernising, yeah, yeah. I'm as good at talking on lives as I was on my vlog the other day. No, not good at all. Really. Not good at all. Yeah. Not good at all. At least on the vlogs can be edited. But no, I do like my old movies. Yeah, black and white. Yeah. Proper movies, they are. Proper, mm. proper. Proper movies, yeah. But what we are going to watch is Peaky Blinders from the start again, aren't we? Yeah, because um, we were expecting season... Oh, four, five. Four to come out, or is it five coming five, out? Five, I think, I'm not sure. But the putting it back, it's not coming out until next year. Mm. If you've watched Peaky Blinders, or if you haven't watched Peaky Blinders, you need to go and do it. I was going yeah, to say now, but it. do it after we finish our live. Um, <laughs> in about five minutes. But, but it's absolutely off. amazing. But yeah. yeah, we're going to watch it right from the start again. We're going with a box set for Christmas because we've been watching it on Netflix and BBC and we've got a box set, so mm. we're going to start again. We'll watch that. Because love it. Love Peaky Blinders. Let us know if you watch Peaky Blinders. I should have been a gangster. I think in a in a alternative world I probably would be. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a good gangster. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Gangster sleeping on a pencil. I'm not sleeping on a pencil. No, no, you're not tonight. I'm not going to, ever. All right. It'll hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hashtag. Yeah. So what have you all been up to then? Let us know. It makes this live thing easier if you interact. Yeah, please. yeah. Then we've got something to talk about. That'd be good. Someone's going to sit here in silence and not say a thing. I'm getting loads of emails coming through my laptop now. Oh. That's Rachel. <laughs> hey, I'm trouble. Rachel. Yeah. Rachel. Power of video famous. Oh, yeah. You oh, need you it, need to watch it, Chris. It's yeah. amazing. And you're not too far from the Black Country Museum, who host um, Peaky Blinders evenings. We managed to mm. go last year, didn't we? Last year, yeah. We put up when it was. Well, we wanted to book up this year, but yeah. it went so quick. It wasn't so popular last year. And then we went to get tickets this year. There was a few friends wanting to come. And it sold out basically within three hours. And they added yeah. another date, and that sold out as well. 
Yeah, but it's really good. Yeah. Black Country Museum's amazing to go and see anyway. Yeah, we're thinking of going for a 1940s Christmas. Oh, you sent me a link December, to that. Yeah, yeah. Going, yeah. Karen, hi. Hi, Karen. And Rachel, I'm looking forward to that vlog. If you don't know, then Rachel Rawson went to um, the Power of Video in Belfast and met up with Cody, which is fantastic. She was on his Facebook Live. And there's obviously a vlog to go with it. Any idea when it's gone up, Rachel? Yeah, Chris, do. It is fantastic. Mm. Bear with it. I think the first couple of episodes are a bit slow. On Peter yeah, Blinders. It, yeah, but yeah, you soon get into it. You mm. get into it really quick. And it moves forward really fast yeah. each season. It's fantastic, yeah. isn't it? Actually, Chris, if you're interested, we did do a vlog for the Peaky Blinders weekend. If you want to have a look at that, mm. it gives you an idea of what's going on. There's some reenactments and stuff. Oh, Rachel's putting a vlog up on the weekend. Oh, excellent. Good. Look out for that one. Actually, I've got an amazing moderator in here, Karen, who I'm sure could flick through my vlogs and find the Peaky Blinders one. I challenge you, Karen. I bet you can. I bet you could drop a link here. I am looking forward to your vlog at the weekend then, Karen, eh, Rachel. Mm. I'll be going to clickbait everybody so you get thousands of views. Karen's call back. Oh, you've called up with Karen. Excellent. Hi, Mary. Hello, Thanks for Mary. joining us. Mary, we are. It's lovely here. Come in, have a chat. Mm. Have a coffee or a glass of wine. Do you know Mary? Mm hmm. She you know, says she's oh, new here. Oh, where are you from, Mary? Whereabouts are you in the world? It is all in the title card. Uh, Rachel, I'm expecting a massive clickbait. I'll watch it anyway. I'm really looking forward to it. And gutted I missed your live. It was just how chilled um, Rachel looked, just sat next to Cody. Mm -hmm. He's gone, yeah, I'm live on Facebook. But you've known him for ages, haven't you? Which is really cool. Yeah, he's unemployed now, isn't he? Yeah. Well, he's not unemployed. <laughs> First day in his new amazing job, yeah. Yeah, hopefully we'll get to VidCon. Mm. You are still up for that, Rachel, aren't you? Chris, actually, are you interested in that? We're hoping to go to VidCon in London in February. A little group of us. Karen, this weekend is a cave. What's a caveman run? That sounds interesting. Oh, yeah. It's a bit different. A caveman run. I'm presuming it's like Captain Caveman, but I'm probably completely wrong. Can you remember Captain Caveman? Yeah. Captain! Oh, he never beat no, his chest. No, he didn't did beat no. his chest, that's Tarzan. No, but it was a captain, he shouted captain really Caveman. loud, didn't it? Yeah, Captain Caveman. Let me know if you can yeah. remember Captain Caveman. Yeah. But that's probably nothing to do with what you're talking about, Karen. Running through mud, hurdles, etc. Oh, oh, so it's like a... Messy. Um, yeah, mm. like a messy challenge. Mm. Dressed up as cavemen by any chance? Are you doing it, Karen, or are you just going to film it? Like the, the Oh, challenge. yeah, yeah. yeah. The half one here is a muddy, muddy... Muddy mud, mud. See, this is, this is where I edit on the vlogs, you see. Mud, hug, muddy hudder, or <laughs> muddy mudder or something. You I don't know. What's, what are you saying? Oh. Um, Oh, you do another baby. Wow, congratulations. Oh, February. Excellent. So you may be in trouble if you go, yeah, we guessed it was white. I think it's the start of February. So it depends if your wife's due at the end of February. I think it'll be really good, though. Mm. At the minute, I think there's two of us gone, just me and Rachel. Why not invited? You didn't want to go to the conference. No, you were coming to London for the night, but you weren't going to the conference, were you? Oh, yeah. Maybe Karen will fly over for it. Mm. Possibly. I think we've got 10 people in here. There is 10 people in here. That's good, isn't it? Uh, you love saying <laughs> This is fun, isn't it? <laughs> Let me know if these lights in the background are doing your head in. Because they're not, I can see a reflection there. Mess up. No, no, we don't drink. Such language from a moderator. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be hanging. Oh, no, we don't drink. Oh, well, don't okay. I have to look at my husband for that. Oh, for coming over. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think we're at the time we'll set up a little Facebook group for anybody that's thinking of going. Um, did you say we were professionals at drinking? No. Oh, did you not? I think Rach would say she's a professional at drinking. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Um, we're, 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 we're still practising. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure we can squeeze in a glass, yeah. make a proper weekend there. It'll be good fun. But yeah, I think if we set up a little Facebook group for anybody that wants to go, and then we can arrange where to meet and all that. Oh, London would be good. I'm losing track. Why is Karen seen with fudge? I'm confused. That's not touch screens. It. What's fudge? I don't know. When's your wife due then, Chris? February. Yeah, but I'm being more specific. Well, Do you love well, a due date? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Ra oh, Rachel was sent fudge, wasn't she? Oh, right. Daniel, I am going to throw you a spanner, but it probably means there's more moderators in here than... Oh, how do I give you one? Sorry, that's so terrible. Uh, spanner, kicker. Oh, add moderator. There we go. There we go. So I know you're a fantastic moderator on Mim's channel. Late, oh, like right. the 30th. Oh, is it late year next year? No, it's technically. It's winding you up. There isn't a 30th of February, is oh, it? Oh, for God's sake. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> See how easy it is. Maybe there is next it's year. Just... Maybe it's a double leap year or something. No, that's... See, that's not even funny. <laughs> it's the <Yeah. 20th. laughs> Yeah, everybody else got the joke and I walked right in here. Oh, it wasn't even joking. It was a mistake. Oh, we did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for that. Your little typo just made me look like an idiot. <laughs> I don't mind. Uh, hey Joe, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Oh. Everybody say hi to Joe. Oh Joe. Who's Joe? Do you know Joe? Yeah. yeah. I don't think you've watched any of his vlogs actually. No. I watch a lot of vlogs I'm on. That seems really sad, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I just lock actually, her. I just lock her in a dark room with yeah. an iPad and she just watches loads of videos. No, what I've started doing is with, with Joe was actually it was just today I commented on one of his videos. I went back to the start. Um, and I've, I'm starting to watch from his oldest to his newest and I commented on one today which was amazing um, and it was basically about where your place is on YouTube if you've not checked out George's channel you need to, you really really need to it's fantastic, I might check it out an amazing video creator I might check that out Rachel, exactly what I've just said you need to, everybody needs to watch John oh. girl, it's not just me you took the heat off me then yeah, nobody realised it was a typo in fact, you shouldn't have said it was, Chris. Everybody thought you were really funny. Yeah, it's morning Maria up because she's just trying to work out when the 30th yeah. was. I was like, oh, it's a leap year, so there's 30 days in February this year. Mm. I don't remember the last time there was 30 days in February. Whatever. No, because it was... No, 28 or 29. <laughs> I'm serious, Joe, your channel is amazing. But I've just been watching your most recent ones and I went, I need to go back to where you started and just watch them and... So you probably get a notification from me every day on your older videos until I catch up. They're amazing. Honestly, they did and it's fantastic. Mm. Check out what, Karen? Oh, George's channel. Chris, if you're on a mobile or an iPad, you can just click on Joe's name and you'll have an option where it says go to channel and you can go to his channel but still stay on this live, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I'm very clever. I've learned all this on live streams. I've just learned that now. Yeah. Mm. That's good, that, isn't it? Yeah. You can just yeah. press and you can go to the channel, but still stay on the on the live. That's very clever. Mm. It is very clever. Mm. It's a very talented man. That was. Yeah. Did you catch her live, Joe? Because I missed it. I was like, go live, go live. And then she did, and I completely missed it. What links in this stream? I'm getting confused. I don't know. In the stream. You caught it. I totally missed it. I did watch the replay and then said Rachel Amesh is apologising for missing her live. I saw the Facebook one that Cody did with her, but then I missed Rachel's absolute live. After Mesh and you load Rachel, going, go live, go live. I think I told you to go live the minute you arrived there until you left again. And then I missed like the one you did. I bet it was amazing to meet him, was it? 
I bet he's the same off camera as well. Right, Martin's made me go solo, so you guys need to talk to me, so I'm not just sitting staring at this screen. Although when I'm watching it on my laptop, he's still here. I really appreciate you all joining. As I said, I think you hear it every Thursday. I get so nervous doing these lives, but then you guys come on and just chat away and it just, it, it relaxes me. I know, Rachel, I should probably be doing something interesting as well, shouldn't I? Daniel, I've heard there is a hurricane. I'm where about in America? It's supposed to be a really bad one, isn't it? I hope you're all safe. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep up with the with the chat. Where about in America is it due to hit? Sorry, I've not even seen the news today. I've been taking my eldest back to uni for the whole day, just driving all over the country. But yeah, I hope you and your family are safe. Is it Carolina, is it? I've literally not seen the news the whole day today. I get really bad hurricanes over there, don't they? We get like the odd little earth tremble, that's it. Yeah, I'm not sure, Rachel. I've not, I've, I've, I've heard there was a hurricane, but I'm not sure where about in, um, in America. America. Yeah, have you an idea where, Martin? Daniel says that he's got one coming. Oh, it's hitting Carolina first. Then it's coming like a curve towards my way here in Georgia. I don't talking, Stacey. Yeah, talking about 60 to 7 miles per hour. Wow. Yeah, Please be careful. Um, Please do what you need to do. I'm sure you are. Oh, evacuating people and everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not good. I'm so happy we don't get them on it. It's devastating, isn't it? Absolutely devastating. Mm. I'm mourning if it starts raining, for goodness sake. Well, we got flooded. That was pretty devastating. Oh, yeah, we did get, well, not like hurricane flooded, but well, we no, did get flooded a few weeks, well, a few, few months, months back, back, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, though, isn't it? The devastation. Mm. And, yeah, he's about that. Oh, Cody's height. Sorry, you threw me there, Rachel. I was like, what? <laughs> Everybody needs your vlog to go up, Rachel. Edit it all night tonight and get it up tomorrow. Go on. I'm just, I'm desperate to see the thumbnail as well. It'll be amazing. Mm. That's so slow compared to this. I know, well, I said you've left me going solo, but then I was looking on my laptop and you were still sat there and I was like, oh, freak it. Yeah. <laughs> We will all be jumping on your vlog, Rachel, for definite. I might even have a look. No, I don't even watch vlogs. Mm. Yeah, if you're here and you've not checked out Rachel's channel, please do. And hit the bell because you won't want to miss the vlog that's coming up. You're going live when it gets to you. Seriously, you're staying then. You're not, you're not evacuating. Oh. Can I leave you in there? Capables for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I've got something to have you put on. Yeah. I don't know what side. Yeah, keep moving in the middle. I'm going to move into the middle. Oh, she's left me alone. Make sure I'm in the direction. You made your what? She's gone and left me. I don't know what to say now. I've never been live on my own. <laughs> oh, hang on. Um, uh, that's a big director. He's coming up. Oh, don't worry about big directors at work. The, the, the probably you probably get a new one next month. Yeah, but yeah, we'll look. We we'll look forward to your vlog. Yeah, that was good. Mm. I, I don't know where I'm going to be fine, Rachel. I'm getting scared now. Somebody's got to talk to me about something. I was I don't know what to say. I've already bored you all with my motorhome antics this week. Um, so. Um, just a job. Oh yeah, uh, you'll be all right. I don't think I get rid of you anytime soon, Rachel. Um, uh, 
right, so the channel is altered. Yes, it is. Uh, okay. The pub you two. I want to know when you're going to the pub you two, and we'll meet up somewhere. Uh, that'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. We don't go to the pub very much. We stay at home because um, pubs are a bit of a dying breed, aren't they? Rachel, come yeah. down. Bring a friend. Come down. We've got yeah, lots of beds. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's not a B&B, but we've got loads of spare rooms. <laughs> it's not a B&B. Yeah, we've got loads of like, spare rooms. Can I budge back in? Yeah, yeah, you can. I'm going to go leave you on your own now. Um, no, I'm not. You like because Bruce you just Lee saw movies. Bruce Lee and he can talk about movies again, yeah? Oh, yeah, I just said Bruce Lee movies. Yeah, actually, I've watched a few. Um, Karen, we would have the best but one. I'm talking about yeah. Bruce Lee movies now. Stop talking about going to the pub. <laughs> yeah. I like any movies, really, yeah. Yeah, anything. I'm, I'm not a fan anything. of Bruce Lee movies. Mm. Daniel, I think you and Martin would get on really well. I think you could spend a whole night talking about movies quite easily, couldn't you? Because Martin oh, starts... could just sit and watch them all. Yeah, yeah we could sit and watch movies because we mm. watch a movie and then Martin will go, oh, remember we watched that and I, as soon as I watch it, I just forget it. Mm. Apart from my favourites from the 80s, I still remember them. But yeah, Rachel, yeah. message me, come down, we'll go to the pub. Yeah. Sorted. And we can film a call up here. Save me oh. halfway. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. Me and Rachel are just planning a, a night out. <laughs> We've never, never actually up. met. She did say you too. That means me as well. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you, oh, look at Martin panicking in case he's not invited. I'll just turn up anyway. Yeah. October is a good month. September's hectic. October is amazing. Mm. Anytime. If anybody else wants to come to the pub, Chris, I know you're not far from us. Two girls in a pub, that's a flop I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> Click the title. Yeah, drunk. Yeah, Karen, you yeah. need to come over. Oh, Rachel yeah. said you're invited as well. Thanks, Rachel. We've got so many pubs in walking distance, it's ridiculous. Mm. Isn't it? Yeah, we've got one next door now as well. We did have one in our garden, but we've turned it into a workspace now, haven't we? My neighbours built this massive, absolutely huge summer house, mm. built from scratch, and he... Came around to let me know that he was going to have a party at the weekend. Uh, just let me know it's going to be really noisy. And then invited me to come and have a look. So I sat there for two hours drinking. Um, it was really good. It's actually got live on tap and everything. Um, big widescreen mm. telly, surround sound system. Yeah, it's a cracking place. Yeah. Um, and his big party finished at 11. Well, no, I don't think it did. We never heard anything after It went it, really then. quiet at 11, so he turned his music down. Yeah. Um, so, but he did tell me it took him two days to get over it, so I think he probably emptied the barrel. Mm. Yeah, but it's really cool. Yeah. yeah. We did have a summer house that we turned into a pub. I've we were... now turned it into an office. Yeah. Karen, you don't drink. Sorry, that was sounded really surprised, <laughs> didn't it? you don't drink. This is why I prefer to vlog, because I can just edit my voice and stuff. Oh. When the great pop concert takes place. Pink pop. So. Oh, I might need to look that up. Is that in Amsterdam? Amsterdam. Landgraf. That almost sounded Dutch there, didn't it? No. No, no. Oh, right. Yeah. Pop. Is that like a big festival? In Landgraf, where, where I live. Oh, right. I'd love to come where you live. It looks beautiful. Mm. Really beautiful. So that's a pub date. Three day festival. Really? Well, do you know what happens? Three day festival, you don't drink, Karen. Do you know what happens oh. when me and Martin go to festivals? We basically overdo it on the Friday night and then we're just hanging for Saturday and Sunday, aren't we? Yeah, because you, you see people you haven't seen for like months or even half a year. Mm. So you want to catch up and sort of, yeah, over, we always overdo it. Yeah, mm. on the yeah. Friday night. Yeah, it's not very good. You don't like alcohol? Oh, I wish I didn't. Alcohol. No, Lang Graf is a bit further away. What do you think of Karen's They're nice. What, me? No, I'm saying Karen. I just sweet, didn't like alcohol. Sweet, sweet ones. You can sleep over for three days. You can do what for three days? <laughs> yeah, I think we'd manage that, Rachel. Quite easily. Although I can't drink wine anymore. I'm a bit of a wuss when it comes to wine. There we go, we're having a party at Karen's now. What, well, tea party? No. <laughs> I'd imagine you'll just be the same without um, alcohol, Karen. 
I think it'd be great fun. And I think I'm one behind on your vlogs at the minute, actually. I'm trying to catch up. You've got 10 people watching and about three chatting at the minute. And as far as I can see, only three thumbs up. I loved your thumbnail for that, Karen, for your, um, the car wash vlog. I've still to watch your sister's photo studio one. I was going to ask you to join my live, um, Rachel, and have a chat about Cody, but we'll, we'll save that for your vlog. But yeah, we'll get in touch and sort or uh, organise a, um, a pub date for October. Have a lovely shower. Martin's left me solo again. Who's going for shower? Joe's coming as well. Now it is turning into a party. Who's having shower? Rachel. Karen, you need to let us all know when that is, because this is totally doable. It's like 45 minute flight to Holland from here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Karen, looks like we're having a three day festival and all sleeping over at yours. That sounds like fun. Is it a summer festival? The flights that we've been to Amsterdam, we went to Amsterdam for, is it Valentine's Day? Not long after we first met, we flew to Amsterdam. We stayed in a, um, a hotel. It was an old converted. It wasn't even a cruise. It was like an old converted. It was a warship. No, it was a cruise ship, but a small one. Not a ferry. Yeah, it was like a ferry, but it was converted in a hotel. It was very cool. I'm losing track of the chat. Give me a minute. I just saw loads of champagne bottles there. Right, we can sleep over. I've got that. Oh, give me a minute. It's in June, excellent. Chris is coming as well. Karen, I hope you've got loads of bags. I'm going to Google it, Pink Pop, because it is normally held during Catholic Festival called Pinksteren. Again, I just sounded fluent Dutch there, didn't I? Thank you. You weren't sober for them. Well, yeah, sorry, I was saying we, went, we stayed in a hotel. We missed our flight. We were flying from Luton and we missed our flight. So we arrived there really late, got changed, got a taxi into Amsterdam city centre and everything was shut. So we went back to the boat and I think it's the happiest I've ever seen Martin actually. There was a okay. vending machine, you know what I'm talking about. There was a vending machine on the boat that sold Heineken. Was yeah, there? Yeah, because we went out and then everything was shut and we came back and I'd, I'd not had a drink and I wanted a drink. Yeah. I said, oh, I'll just get a cold drink for the vending machine and mm. realise that it had Heineken in it, which is great. Yeah, I think it was like a Euro or 10 or something. Yeah. So, nice Back romantic evening with four cans of Heineken. Yeah. yeah. It was lovely. Was good. And then the next day, Martin went and got his nipple pierced. That wasn't yeah. good. That Random. really hurt. You want to hear a man scream. Mm, I did. And then um, we met some nice people, didn't we? And then... Got drunk. You, you didn't get drunk, Martin. Oh, I fell asleep in the bar. Martin. Martin sampled the local delicacy and fell asleep in the bar mm. and woke up about three hours later and demanded noodles, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> so we went to find a noodle bar. I had bar. a noodle yeah. bar. Yeah, it was really good. It yeah. was very funny. It was a very romantic Valentine's Day. And then yeah. the day after that, we got off the boat and we had to get the ferry, obviously because we were staying on a boat, we had to get the ferry in Amsterdam and we got on the, on the, wrong the, one. the boat and we got on the wrong one and we were on it for about three hours. And it took us back to where we started. Yeah, so we had to get off. <laughs> it was literally like two boat stops and we'd went to the wrong one so it took us all the way around the water and then brought us back and we had to get off the boat take a step to the right and then get on the right boat mm, yeah it's very traumatic it wasn't it was funny yeah mm. right go for a shower rachel thank you for dropping by looking forward to your vlog bye like really looking forward to it bye rachel mm, be amazing back soon we'll probably still be sat here chatting to be honest oh i don't know about that i'm tired Tickets for three days is 200 euros. What's that in pounds? 200? 190. So there's probably a highlight day, Karen, isn't there? Like most festivals, it's normally the Saturday or something. Or you can pay per day, 90 euros a day. Yeah. Uh, 
Så er det, det har Dobrox er cheap, og nok sådan i think we um, yeah. I think we need to bring the life forward that's, so I'm not quite so tired. That's why I do the accounts for our business because Marie's not giving numbers. Yeah, can you imagine me doing that accounts? No. We go see you at the pub. We will. We'll see you at the pub and in Amsterdam. Yeah. Have a lovely day, Joel. Thank you so much for dropping by. Much appreciated. Yeah. See you, Joel. Much appreciated. And I do apologise in advance for your notifications every day now as I work through your vlogs. Right, so you go for a shower. I think we still be here saying bye. <laughs> mm. oh. It's a bit label on the bottom of the mug. Yeah, I know you do that. You never yeah. take the labels off. I never take the labels off the bottom of my shoes mm. either. Right. That doesn't drink out of the shoes. No. <laughs> That's a fetish thing, isn't it? Well, I don't know. The Metallica, the Foo Fighters, Lionel. Oh, I love Lionel Richie. Oh, Paul McCarthy. Oh, I Paul, think McCartney. Paul McCarthy. Etc. Every year a different lineup. Well, I am going to Google that when I'm finished here. Who's Paul McCarthy? Is that supposed to be McCartney? I don't know. Do you mean McCartney? Carolyn. Can you jacket? We're live. That'll be live, Brody. <laughs> uh, just come Why in. have you not joined? We're live. Because I've been in the shower. Yeah, uh, brody has been for a shower. Yeah, Rachel's just very early. Shower. Pink pop, yeah. Have you tried gin? You have, haven't you? Who's oh, that? Jen. Daniel's just asked, yeah. Daniel, I discovered gin. I, I was a bit late to the gin party. I discovered it about two months ago. I found pink gin. I love gin. Oh, here's Brody. Everybody's Brody, wearing Queen's Call. Everybody say Brody, hi to Brody. Hi, oh, Brody. I like gin, whoever asked. It was very nice. It was Daniel. Um, she only looks like 12. But yeah, you don't look old enough to. It's nearly 18. Nearly Karen saying hi, Brody. Hi, Karen. Sorry. Um, oh, I was going to say something. Sorry. Yeah, discovered pink gin and lemonade. It was my summer drink of choice, wasn't it? Mm. Yum. <laughs> a nice unicorn gin I made because I love unicorns, so I had to make a unicorn gin. Mm. Didn't I? Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. Very good. Nice cup. This one. This one is a hug in a mug. I don't know if that's coming backwards to you. Well, oh, you probably well, mean that one, don't you? That's about the front one yeah. you put out there, isn't it? I went to Liverpool yeah. without the without the kids, without Martin. Yeah. So it's got me an Abbey Road Beatles mug. And Abbey Road's not actually in Liverpool. Yeah, but it's because the Beatles were yeah, the Beatles, from I love Liverpool, the Beatles. isn't it? Beatles. Yeah. You do love the Beatles, don't you? And Paul McCartney's new album's brilliant. Oh, you waited on it being released on Apple yeah. Music, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Mm, so. Oh, good night, Chris. Hi, off, Chris. Thank you so much for coming by. See you in the pub or VidCon or Amsterdam. Mm. Not Amsterdam, whatever Karen said. Live streams seem to be a bit of a nightmare on the phone, actually. I've tried them a couple of times and you just get that circle, don't you? Ely Gin Company here, loads of... Oh, now I'm intrigued. You can't oh. leave. You can't drop that and then leave. <laughs> Chris, the Ely Gin Company. So is that a small independent then? Where's Chris? In Ely. <laughs> Ely, Cambridgeshire? Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. you, oh you, you can't. Awesome. And Beatles, now you're talking. Yeah, see, now yeah. his phone's all right, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> the Ely Gin Company. Oh. See, I, I want to Google it now, but that would just be rude, wouldn't it? I'm sure we've got one next to us here, haven't we? Three birds or something, I'm sure that's quite local to us. I like gin, I like three birds. Yeah, well, they do. I think they started with gin. Oh, it's so different, yeah. yeah. Loads of different flavours, yeah. It's, um, yeah the only one I've liked so far is pink gin. I've tried loads. I tried because when the gin thing hit... Um, I tried a few different ones, didn't I? It's yeah, we, we, we like. go to an amazing um, caravan park. Well, it's not really a caravan, it's a bit of a fishery in a caravan park um, up in Mountain Mowbray, and they've got a gin bar in their clubhouse. Mm. Marie tried gin there, and you weren't too struck It's the there, tonic really. I don't like. Yeah. But I found um, Mediterranean tonic, and that's very nice. Mm. It was Daniel, that was my youngest, Brody, she's 17. 
Quinn, my eldest, who's home from uni for another week, is chilling in her room, I think. And then there's Martin's three as well. That they're grown yeah. up, aren't they? They're like 20... 24, 23, 21. Well done. Mm, I think. Yeah, I can't remember any names. We've got five <laughs> daughters. Yeah. <laughs> We've got five daughters between us. Martin's got three and I've got two. We've none between us. We've got two dogs. Yeah, we've got two dogs instead. Yeah. And I think one of them ran into the garden barking a minute ago. Yeah, she did. She's better now. Yeah. We've got Minnie the Diva and Percy the Gentleman. And my middle daughter, my, grand, my, my near granddad. Mm. My grandparents now. Yeah. I know. I can't believe it either. This right. youthful face. Yeah, mate. Yeah, I'm far too young to be a granddad. Tell ya. Tell ya. Yeah, I'm only 27. Kids nowadays. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, so I've got a cool little grandson called Oliver. Yeah, it's a dude. If you can hear snorting in the background... It's not me. Percy, this is not you. <laughs> Percy is here, he's half pog and he does that. I call him a little micro pig. And he basically does a... <laughs> he's cleaning his feet at the minute. So if you can hear the noise, that's what it is. Yes. 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 He's talking now. He's not. Uh -huh. I take it you like the Beatles then, Chris. Mm. You would just have the Beatles on replay, wouldn't you? Yeah. Mm. I think the music's amazing. Actually, yeah. drop a, like, a comment below what your favourite all-time band is. And see if you can second-guess what mine is. Would you say the Beatles okay. were your all-time favourite? Um, yeah, the Beatles are pretty cool. Oh, yeah. your grandparents as well? Our two daughters are 20 and 23. Excellent. Yeah, she's got seven thirty-five. She's got two, two children. Ah, uh, so what happens when you get old, become grandparents, yeah. which is really good because it's like you have the joy of having little ones around, and mm. then you can just give them back. Yeah, I've forgotten how thing. loud babies cry. <laughs> mm. Oliver does cry quite loud. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We need to go to him and see him. So, not seeing him for a couple of weeks. Would uh. Step grandparent, that's what I am, yeah. Granny. Um, gran, not granny. Sorry, gran. We're really lucky actually because in Scotland, if you're grandparents, you're a, um, a gran rather than a nanny. And English is nanny or nan. So it worked out without upsetting any other grandparents. Oh, my. Oh, that's cool. What's that little curly? I've got a niece who's Turkish. We're going to see her at the end of this month, actually. What is it she calls her grandparents? I don't know. I can't remember what the Turkish is. Grand and granddad, I think. No, <laughs> it's not. It's something but Turkish. But Turkish. Um, I can't remember. you got a Doberman and a pit bull. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the lead cars. You don't see <laughs> many of them in the UK, actually. Well, pit bulls, I, are, pit bulls are banned in the UK now. I Dobermans think, aren't. Dobermans are lovely dogs. But. No, I think Dobermans, correct me if I'm wrong, I think Dobermans are possibly banned in the UK as well. Really? Yeah, I might be completely wrong, but I think the last time I saw a Doberman was when I was, like, 15. I don't know why they're banned. Yeah. Oh, pit, 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 pit bulls were, aren't pit bulls. Pit bulls were pit because, pulls. They, because there's so many people breeding them for fighting dogs. Mm. In the UK, yeah, obviously, not UK. worldwide. Yeah, right. Um, but yeah, they, yeah they, they banned them some years ago, didn't they? Doberman's a black and brown one, isn't it? Yeah, the bigger, the bigger, yeah. chunkier one. You've got the, no, you've got a Doberman and you've got the, what's the other one? It's the same colour, but skinnier. One skinnier, one's big. Yeah, there's other dogs that look think, like them, I can't even think what they are. Um, but, yeah, gorgeous dogs. Yeah. ACDC, we've got a rocker here. Oh. What's the other one called then, Karen? Oh, the same one as a Doberman. And then... There's like a fat version, isn't there? Well, it's not a muscly version. But fat. Um, Rottweiler. 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 Rottweiler, that's it. That's it, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's something we used to have. I'm yeah, Doberman's are very long gorgeous bodies. Gorgeous dog. Mm. His kids, when they were little, used to ride it like a like a like pony. It was that big. Yeah. Yeah, but really classy. Yeah, Rottweiler, yeah. but really classy dog. You hardly see any Rottweilers in this country now, yeah. either. Our dogs are basically the size of your dog's heads. Yeah. Well, Minnie's the size of a cat, basically. Yeah, Minnie's yeah. like a little cat. Mm. Yeah. A lot easier. Little dogs are a lot easier. Yeah. Because they sleep most of the time. 
Minnie just sleeps and then eats and then barks. Yeah, and not all Pretty much everything, everything that comes on the telly, yeah. which resembles anything to do with an animal, even cartoon animals, she barks mm. them. Yeah. It's great, yeah, when you're watching something. <laughs> you love it, don't you? Trying we can't watch, watch Blue Planet or anything well, like No, that, it's though. not that, but anything, even an adverse and anybody on the telly seems to have a dog or a pet mm. of some description when we're watching the telly. So many decides to bark at the yeah, moment. Yeah, constantly. So you miss everything. Yeah. Pretty much. I'm in the drink. Yeah. Coffee's got cold. No, oh, is it? I love one of them. Coffee? No, in the glass, that's fine. Will we bring Minnie in to say hi? Bear with. Do you want the glass now? Yeah. Oh. There she is. This is as big as it gets, but well, Percy, Percy's a bit bigger. Minnie's live. Yeah, Minnie's live on YouTube. She does need a groom. She missed her groom last time because she had a near-death experience, didn't you? She is half Pog, half Bichon, aren't you? You saying hi? She looks so pissed off. <laughs> Excuse me, my language. So annoyed, sorry. You saying hi? Mm. Yeah, she's just little. Just little. And Percy's, oh, half Jack Russell and half Pug. Bigger than her, though. And <laughs> she's like giving the camera a sideways glance. You had enough? Hmm, you had enough? She's going to sit involved food. No, it doesn't. I'll just go. Hey, look at the state. You sort your face out. Sort your face out. There we go. Yeah, you're not impressed, are you? Not impressed. I mean... Oh, that was nearly tongues. Oh, she's loving you. <laughs> yeah, she's a little cute. She's in most of my vlogs, I think. Pretty much, isn't she? Yeah. So yeah, um, Daniel let us know what his favourite band was. Hands. Nobody else has. We've got ACDC. The ACDC. Yeah. You got me. What's a cutie? Oh, good enough. Do what? A cutie. A cutie. Oh, a cutie, Minnie. sorry. Yeah. I thought it was a breed of dog. <laughs> no. I apologise, Karen. He's lost, yeah. lost a thread. Yeah, I, I struggle to read sometimes. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> That's why I did the numbers and you did the reading. Yeah. Thing. Special we get breed. There. Special. <laughs> yeah, I'm a special breed by the sounds of it, yeah. What kind of dog have you got? I've got a cutie. <laughs> cutie. <laughs> you even spell it right, Karen. Well done. <laughs> I better deny it. Cutie. Yeah, well, Karen types better English than I do Dodge. That's what she cuts me, so cutie. <laughs> See, I was right to me. Mark yeah. doesn't like words. <laughs> we don't like numbers. I don't like okay. numbers. I don't like numbers. She's a little cutie, isn't she? Yeah. If annoying, sometimes. Very annoying. So anyway, has anyone got any questions you would like to ask us? Mm. Let's have a free for all. Is there anything you'd like to know? If you watch the vlogs, I know we're very real on camera anyway, but is there anything you'd like to know? And we shall answer as honestly as possible. Sorry. Hi, Pauline. Oh. Welcome. Incubus. Incubus. Oh, I'm not sure I've heard of them. All oh, right. Is that a small band or is that a big band that I probably should have heard of and haven't? Thank you so much for dropping by again. I've never heard of that. I was going to say, I've never heard of her. I was like, Martin, shh. No, no. <laughs> the band. Inc yeah, I've not. I'm going to Google it. Not right, well, yeah, it's actually Googling it. I'd be really hard pushed to find a... Oh, they're a big band. Oh, really? Yeah, he's going to find it and then we'll just go, oh, that's who it is. Find it. It's, oh, they're a rock band, that's why I've never heard of them. I oh, love they? rock music. Yeah, Marie loves rock, rock music. I've never really been into rock music. Nah. Yeah. Nah. In the UK, are they? Is she in the UK? Pauline? Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Um, 
I'm very good, stop looking. Sorry, sorry, he's just sat there on his phone. Yeah, so you stopped the vlog there, but I'm bloody staring at me. It's not vlog, it's a lie. Live vlog, <laughs> vloggy vlog, vlog thing. No, not heard of him, but I'm sure I'm really good. Pauline, are you in Los Angeles? I am so sorry, I thought you were in UK. My bad. Oh, really? Oh, that's what we're So they're right. American band Ah, oh, I see. That's what it is. I'm trying to think what my favourite band would be. Um, Anything sort of 80s rock. S, S Club. <laughs> Why would you look like an S Club type of woman? Um, She's in Northern Ireland. I'm getting really confused. Pauline's in Northern Ireland. The band is from LA. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. Oh, right, okay. We're not very good at American rock. No. Although I'm just going to say one of my favourite bands is Meat Love. He's American, isn't he? Is, is he rock? Yeah, I'd say he's he? rock. Oh. Yeah. I do like rock. I absolutely love rock. But when I say rock music, I mean like Def Leppard and White Snake and Magnum and stuff like that. Not that he's lolly. <laughs> um, the okay. older rock. You saw the Stones as well. Mm. I've, I've got a bit of love hate. You like the Rolling Stones, don't you? Yeah, I think they're pretty cool. Mm, see, I've got a bit of love hate actually with the Rolling Stones. I like their hits, I think. Um, but I don't know much else apart from their hits. I like Bob Dylan as yeah, well. Yeah, Bob Dylan's cool. But I like a lot of ska. Yeah. Like madness, you like madness, madness and stuff, and don't you? Jam and, mm. and all that specials, all that sort of stuff. Whereas I like a bit of electric guitar. 80s, 80s ska music. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. We went to see um, Suggs, didn't we? On his tour. Oh, that was amazing, yeah, wasn't that was it? Really, that really was good. so yeah. good. Both his sits and chats and, yeah. King Knut, wasn't it? King Knut. Knut. But yeah. he never, he did do some music at the end, but the whole thing was like a, um, life just chatting about his life. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah, really, really good. It's very funny, man. Mm. Yeah. Actually, if you get a chance, I would recommend going to see it. It was so cool just to see him just sat chatting about how madness started mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And we do have tickets to go and see Joanna Lumley as well. She's doing a sit down chat, I think. Yeah. Oh, Robbie Williams, seen Robbie Williams live. I bet that's well good. I bet that was amazing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. Yeah. I think the biggest band I've ever seen live would be Oasis, when they were in the prime, not now. Well, they oh. don't even exist now, do they? Have you seen them live? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. I've seen Palantini live. Anybody like Palinatini? Oh, he's a favourite. Brilliant. There's a funny story behind the Oasis one, which I'm sure you told, I told you. But I lived in Scotland at the time, and Oasis just, released... Yeah. The Oasis, we're going back to the early 90s, Oasis released two dates in the UK. They were doing one at Loch Lomond, which was basically like an, an hour and a half away from me, and they were doing another one. And by the time I got on the hotline, the Loch Lomond one had sold out and they went, oh, there's still, still tickets available for Stephen Edge. And I'm like, I'll have two of them. I realised Nebworth, yeah. Yeah. Which was a good seven pretty much, hour drive. Pretty much just 20 miles before North London. Yeah. So from Scotland to North London is a bit of a trek. No, no, I don't know. No, no, I love you too. Love, <laughs> love you. Love you, love you too. Glory's gone to bed. No, Hi Lisa, it. thanks for dropping by. My first ever concert was Def Leppard. Really? That's when well, they were in the prime. I've never seen them. They are coming back though, aren't they? They're well, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're here basically. That's when I was writing at them. So that would have been the album. Oh, I can't think of the name of it. That would have been their... Wouldn't have a clue. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, but they're coming back on a rock tour, aren't they? In really? a few months' time, yeah, but I know you would absolutely hate it. I wouldn't be going. So if me right. and Lisa want to get tickets, that would be amazing. I'll go and see Tina Turner with Karen. In 1989, you saw Tina Turner. Wow. But that's a really Neil good Young, concert. you'd have loved it. I'm sure you and Who's Daniel Neil? are the same person. Who's Neil Young? No, Daniel. Neil Young. Sweet Caroline. Is that Neil Young? Yeah. No, that's Neil Diamond. Oh, that's Neil Duff done it again. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Young. I'm just gone now. Ah, oh, so I Neil love Paul Young. Young. Sorry, who's Neil Young? I thought they had Neil Diamond in my it's head not there. Neil Diamond, definitely not. Paul Young. Um, Martin's got a story about Paul uh, Young. Paul Young. My dad. In fact, I've got two stories about Paul Young. My dad used to work with Paul Young's brother's wife, ex-wife now, um, 
back in the day, and Paul come round our house, or actually no, Mark came round our house with right Paul's, down, eh? Paul's um, when he first bought um, when he bought a Ferrari, a bit of an old clapped out one. He'd, he'd only just started to be, make a bit of money. Yeah, yeah. So he bought his brother's Ferrari. Yeah, but it's yeah, still it's, um, it. We'll be back. Bear with. We're coming back. They probably can see us on this bit. There we're we go. Reconnecting. Yeah, um, yeah. Me, um, mum and dad used to babysit for Paul when he was baby. Yeah, but yeah. the second Paul Young story. Actually, I wish I could find the photo on my phone. We went to eighties. Um, oh, eighties revival. An eighties revival. Yeah. Can you just pop in the comments really quickly, somebody, if you can still hear and see us? Because we've got a reconnecting thing happening at the minute. Oh. Now it looks like we are reconnecting, so we're both just staring at it. Yeah, because it's not doing anything. It's reconnecting. We're reconnecting. Sound is good, and we just blurry. It should be back now, oh, hopefully. It, it's coming back, I think. Yeah, Paul Young. Oh, the image just went funny. Um, yeah. So I remember Paul Young stuff when he was in Q-Tips and when he was um, in street band, um, the first couple of bands he was actually in until he went okay. solo. Yeah, um, yeah, really good. Lovely but our music. second Paul Young story is we went to an 80s revival. I'm worried we've gone again. It still just keeps coming up, reconnecting, but mm. it's showing us it's live there. I'll, I'll be able to... We went to, sorry, it's 30 minutes, it went to Nature's Revival and um, Rick Astley came on and he was not good at oh, all. Oh no, that's, that's what we were a bit blurry. We're coming and going, aren't we? Yeah. Oh no, I think we've oh, no, I don't know. Guys, let me know if you want me to stop this live and reconnect. No, it's, it, it seems all right. Is it? Yeah, it seems all right. It's just our... our it's fine now. iPad is whirring away at the moment, but obviously mm. we're all right. Yeah, um, anyway. Yeah, Rick asked to come on at the end, and we were not impressed, were we? He was, his voice was ridiculous. So we left, and to get to our hotel, the quickest way was to walk through a five-star hotel. And we walked in, and Paul Young was just sat there, wasn't he? Yeah, so we went up to the lab. Yeah, so we went up and stayed to lob and got a photo taken with him. I don't it, think he it, was on it, that night, was he? Yeah. Was he? Yeah, that was well after it finished. Yeah, and um, yeah, so we started chatting to him. He was a bit embarrassed about talking to us to first of all because he just wanted to sit and have a mm. drink with his pals and that. He's um, that. And then anybody else who walked through that same hotel to get to their hotel then stopped. And as mm. we left, it was like inundated with about 50 people around him. Yeah. So, Paul, if you're watching, we apologise for that. Yeah, but, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> he might, he might subscribe, you never know. But, um, yeah, does anybody listen to Paolo and Atini? Mm. I think you already asked, didn't you? I think everybody ignored that because I don't know who he is. Yeah, we're cool. Yeah. We tend to go to... We, you actually got me tickets to go and see Paloma Faith, didn't you? Um, we didn't go. And we didn't go. I've went off really big gigs now, although I would forgive myself if I went to see Def Leppard. And we didn't go. We prefer, like, smaller, intimate gigs. Mm. Rachel, I told you we'd still be sat here gathering away, <laughs> didn't I? I said that. We're nearly an hour. Almost. See, my nerves go after like 40 minutes. Hi, Nathaniel's Adventures. Oh. I missed that. Thanks for joining. I don't think you've been on one of our lives before, have you? Mm -hmm. So thank you for dropping by. It's cool. Not many thumbs up tonight. Well, quite a few people have joined, but we've only got four thumbs up. Maybe we've been particularly rubbish, Martin. Well, speak for yourself. Well, I think I'm bloody maybe. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I kept it going while you was gone earlier. So I can tell you the amount of comments I had. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to guess you're in either America or a Canada. Or a Canada? Or a Canada. Yeah, we're frozen again. I don't know why that keeps doing that. Why is it kicking us out? It's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We're just frozen. Sorry, everybody. We'll keep chatting. So hopefully, you can still hear us. And thank you for whoever did the, did the number five thumbs up there. Um, which is pretty cool. Oh, 
So I wire. It's, well, it's hardly pre-recorded, is it? Because we're just rambling, really. Mm. Yeah. Scrubbed all my barnacles off. What barnacles? You just been for a shower. Oh, nice. You're still moving fine. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, we've not got... Oh, yeah. thank you for the thumbs up. Thumbs up, Nathaniel's Adventures. Cool. Love no, that accent. Can you guess then, Nathaniel, I presume your name is, what my accent is and what Mr P's accent is? Let us know. No, we're not going to say anything. <laughs> Have you heard of Stevie Ray Vaughan? Stevie Ray Vaughan. Must be Irish. Who? Me or Marie? Who? What one do you think is Irish? To be sure, to be sure. Thank you, Pauline. Yeah, what one do you think's Irish? Thank you, Lisa. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? See? Just give me a little nudge. Um. You and the man is Australian. Well. Well, mm, got that a little bit wrong now. You're close with Irish. I'm actually Scottish. And this is a little Luton boy. I'm from Luton. London boy. Yeah, Luton, if you don't know whereabouts it is, it's like 30 mile away you from London. You seem to be almost out of the picture. Oh, no, so all right. Almost out of the picture. Yeah, um, yeah so I'm nowhere near Australia. Yeah. yeah you would love but, to be, though. Yeah, yeah, well, I'd, I'd like to go there one day. Yeah, but... Um, Brody, our, our youngest, she's got an amazing... I was awful so. at student social studies. <laughs> <laughs> You're forgiven. We've yeah, just been talking right. about how terrible I am with numbers and how bad Martin is with words. Yeah, so you're just as bad with accents. Yeah, yeah. get back yeah, to school, that. boy. Yeah, I'm, um, yeah, I'm a I'm sort of blue and London accent. A bit common, me. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I'm raised Scottish, which is, it, it's up that way towards Ireland. Yeah, that's what I was saying, it was close with Irish. Yeah. <laughs> Very close. <laughs> This is where I would love to be able to just have everybody on the live together. What, so just we could everybody all... just chatting? Yes, yeah, so, no, so we could all see each other and hear each other. Mm. What Can't accent, like Karen? I bet, you, I bet you're thinking his. Of course, because I've got an amazing accent. You just went really posh. I don't know what you mean. You just went I, really posh. That's not how you speak. I Martin. do. I talk like this all no, the time. No, it's not. I don't know what you're talking about. Like the Queen's about. English. Oh yes, exactly. Yeah. Mate. Mate. What mate? That's how I speak, mate. In it. In it. Oh, you like mate. Michael Ken? Yeah. yeah, it's Martin Ken. Yeah, I'm only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. I always get that wrong, don't I? Yeah, you do. Yeah. Mm. My name is Michael Kane. No, it's not. It's my repo. No, that's for the song, though, isn't yeah. it? It my was name. like a madness song, wasn't yeah. it? My name is Michael. My Kane. name is Michael Kane. Not a lot of people know that, and he's never said that. I never said that. No, no, it's Michael Kane. Oh right, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure at some point he said, "My name is Michael Kane," not in a Scottish accent. Obviously. But he's never said, "Not a lot of people know that." Get a lot of English books off Michael. No, it was Peter Sellers. What, me speaking? Oh, Peter Sellers oh, said it. Oh, well, he said my name is Michael Kane. Not, a lot, not a lot of people know that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's hard work sometimes, it really is. It's very late, it's very late <laughs> on his voicemail. So he said not a lot of people know that. Yeah. Not a lot of people know that. Yeah. Not that my name is Michael Kane. They'll do that. He said something. I like Peter Sellers as well. He was an amazing bloke. I don't think I know who Peter Sellers is. Pink Panther. Inspector Clouseau. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Michael wrote a book with that title. I sound like Keith Lemon with female. I'm sure you don't, Lisa. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. I love Keith Lemon. <laughs> that's why Peter said it on his voicemail. Oh, Sorry, that's tickled me, Lisa. Hmm. We actually speak to each other quite a lot in your Yorkshire accent, don't we? Like if I make you a cup of tea, I go, cup of tea, love. Yeah. What cup of tea, love? Yeah, love. Yeah, love. Cheers, love. I don't know why we speak to each other in New Yorkshire. It's the only thing we can understand, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I was I can't understand what she's saying, mm. so we have to put an accent on just mm. to be able to understand what each other says. Do you want mm. to tell the 
Double your age story. Oh yeah, we were on holiday, and um, it's been a language barrier. Story. Yeah, we we do struggle with um, with the language barrier, and Marie was telling me about some. I thought she was telling me about a guy who was in the motorhome next to us that he looked like he was double my age, and she was telling me that the age of the car was a W, w reg. reg, and I'd said he's not double my age, and then realised that it was. Yeah. Talk about something else. You, it, made, that, you yeah. made that sound hilarious. Yeah, it's just, it. yeah. Can't after. Yeah, you had to be there. Yeah. <laughs> and then we had a problem with me wanting to get a key cut. Oh, don't you? And I needed some there. polish for my car. Uh, no, for the motorhome. So I wanted some tea cut. So I went into mm. a shop. You know where this is going. And got the t- key cut. And I said, now I need to go and get my tea cut. And Marie said, you've already got your key cut. I went, no, I need tea cut. And so it went and round the house. You just got your key card. Yeah, it went round the houses quite yeah. a bit until I said, no, I need polish. And then she realised that I'm, not, I'm not even Polish. <laughs> <laughs> it's very difficult sometimes. It's but difficult you have to be a, a foreigner. Yeah. I'm not even a foreigner. I'm not a foreigner. My wife foreigner. is obsessed with William Wallace. I'm slightly obsessed with William Wallace. Yeah, or does she mean Mel Gibson, Mel Gibson as William Wallace. Wallace? Oh, yeah. I presume you've watched Braveheart a few times then. You never watched that till you met me, did you? It's yeah. like three hours long, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's an amazing film. Mm. Yeah. It is very good. Freedom! Mm. That's the one. It's a very good film. Yeah, but if you ever go to Edinburgh, there is actually a William Wallace statue. It's but Sterling. It, it's Sterling. Oh, is it Sterling? Yeah. No. The one in Edinburgh is the William Wallace statue, but it's Mel Gibson. No, that's Sterling. Oh, that's still in Sterling. Yeah. Yeah, but they actually did the actual, whoever done the actual sculpture, done it of, as it's Mel Gibson playing William Wallace. It's not the actual original William Wallace statue. They do have up so next to the castle, they've got the William Wallace monument, but down the bottom they've done like a, sta- a sandstone version of William Wallace, but it's actually um, Mel Gibson playing Mel Gibson. part of yeah. William Wallace. It's for the tourists, isn't it? Oh. It is an amazing movie. Mm-hmm. So where about are you then, Nathaniel? As I said, I think I presume you're in the in the um, America somewhere. My accent is country as Carl. Country as Carl. What's that mean? I'm confused. I just perked up when you said carp because I love, yeah, I love fishing. fishing for fishing carp. Fishing carp, carp fishing. Maybe more crap, but for carp. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Or did I just say that? You did just say that. Yeah. I don't think it's a swear word on YouTube. Oh, is it not? I don't think so. I don't think so. What carp? It's oh. not a swear word. I think it's a fish. It is a fish. Oh, it is a are. fish. Mm. We've got eight watching. Who's still here then? Come here. One, two. Oh. Eight watching and two chatting. Oh, you were moved. I thought there was loads of... Oh, no, that was me. That was me. Does anybody want to ask us anything? Pauline's still there. Hi, Pauline. Has anybody got any questions? Just makes it easier when you're sitting talking to an iPad. Go on. Ask us something crazy. Story of my life, always chatting. Mm. See, Karen, I'm with you. I love a life where it's just a chat and a chat. Because we did have a conversation earlier before we came live um, about what we'd talk about. <laughs> and I went, nothing. I went, we'll just... So you just um, saw that comment. We'll just see how it goes. Hi, Stephanie. Welcome to the channel. I think it's the first time you've been here, is it? Correct me if I'm wrong. What are your tattoos of and their meanings? Yeah. We'll yeah, let I'll Martin go first. One. Well, no, I've got mine there as well. <laughs> I think I was just looking at that. This is... Um, How do you know? This is a skull, as you can see, and the word dilly-gaff underneath. I'm not going to tell you what actually dilly-gaff means, but if you want to Google Kevin Wilson, mm. he's an Australian singer, um, totally impolitically incorrect. Politically like a, incorrect. Politically incorrect. Um, and it's one of his songs... But everybody's changed what 
It actually means to do I look like I've got any friends? Or we change it to do I look like I've got a Ferrari or do I look, look like I've got, got any, any finance? finance. <laughs> yeah, but it does mean do I look like I give a something? And you can work out what the last yeah. word is. And then yeah. these ones, if this is what you were talking about, in the middle is our wedding song, which was Loving You by Paolo Nutini. And because Martin's um, from Cyprus, we've got the olive branch, and because I'm Scottish, we've got a thistle. But I need to get that redone. An Englishman done it, and he's done it really bad. So next time I go to Scotland, I need to... Done it. No, I did, but next time I go to Scotland, I need to get this top bit redone, because I've never saw I've such got, a I've smooth I've got the same thistle. tattoo there. Yeah. Yeah. And then this side's a, a, a fish, it's a carp. It's a crap. It's not a crap, it's I'm a carp. I'm mistaken, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the tattoos yeah. that are on display. Oh, I've got that one as well. Which is carp diem, with a lot of meanings in there. Yeah. Like our tattoos. <laughs> yeah, like a little wee dilly cap. Mm? My favourite is, do I look like I've got any friends? <laughs> oh, you've... <laughs> <laughs> you found out what it means. Yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. And then actually, I've got that put on there when I got divorced. Mm. Not, Not from for Marie. Me. Yeah, yeah. The first marriage. <laughs> yeah. Quinn's in the room, by the way, if you just hear a giggle in the background. Hi, Quinn. Where's she hiding? I just she sat watched there. the vlog oh. that we got Percy. Oh, really? Karen, I think I am dull. Don't drink, don't smoke, not tattoo. You're not dull, Karen. I drink, I smoke, and I've got tattoos. <gasps> do you smoke? I do smoke, yeah. That's disgusting. Not live on air. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> We've been trying to work That's out. Funny, we Daniel. thought you were really into your fishing, Daniel. Yeah. Obviously not. And then we <laughs> thought you were being politically correct and not putting crap in case it got kicked off. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You've got to talk about fishing, though. Mm. So if any of you lot got tattoos then, apart from Karen, because we know you don't have. Karen, go get a tattoo. Then have a glass of wine and fag. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Done. 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 It's a bad influence. I don't know if she's drink or smoke when I'm back, Marie. Liar. No way. <laughs> mm. I love tattoos. I do mm. really like tattoos. I've got one on my shoulder and one on my back as well. Mm. Have you got any more? I said I think your chest and both arms. Yeah, both arms and chest. But I really want to get one done there of an open... It looks like cogs and, and pistons and everything, but... It's like your inner working yeah, steampunky, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like inner it? workings, but steampunky type mm. thing, but they really hurt. <laughs> Well, Quinn yeah, you can start one. laughing, Quinn, with the tiniest tattoo ever. That was the first one. Yeah, but uh, yeah, they really hurt. But my oldest, my oldest daughter Gemma, she's pretty much got half a sleeve, um, and um, she's got this special numbing cream you can buy or numbing spray or something, which is supposed to help. Another good question. Oh, okay. hi, your nanny. Thank you for dropping by. I think it's the first time you've been here, isn't it? I don't recognise the name. So hi and thank you. Yeah, we're just we've just said ask us anything and we'll answer it. So Stephanie's put, does your jewellery have any meaning, like his ring or your necklace? Martin's ring does have a lot of significance, yeah. doesn't it? This yeah, this is a half sovereign of George, 1913, George. And my mum gave me this for my 18th birthday. Can you make sure and it's I in... pretty much yeah. wear it all the time. Yeah. You wear it every day, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it's got the George head on, on, I've got the head up. Whereas a lot of people have the sovereign with the um, dragon up. But yeah, I uh, wear this all the time. Mm. Yeah, your mum got it mounted for your what for my, birthday? For my 18th birthday. Yeah, uh, so three years ago. Three years ago, my 18th, yeah. Yeah, a bit longer than that. Yeah, so Quinn. I wear it every day. <laughs> Quinn is literally sat down there just giggling. Yeah, she's sat on the floor just giggling. These at everything um, necklaces, that's a diamond that Martin got me got a long time ago. You've got diamond mm. and matching earrings. Not the ones, obviously, because they don't match. <laughs> and then this one is a St. Christopher. Oh. Which Martin got me recently, like the patron saint of travelling. Yeah. Where do you get your steampunk clothes hat from, Martin? I'll let you ask that. You make it all, don't you? Well, I've got the plain hat. My so eldest bought me that for that for steampunk. present for Christmas, I think, one year. And then um, I've added to it and bought, bought the goggles, goggles off eBay. Um, 
from Mr. Wong in China for three quid. Um, and then I've added bits and pieces to it. And the same as Marie's, that was just a plain hat we bought. And then I've just added to it. Uh, but you can see some amazing stuff. You can buy them already done and everything. Um, but they cost, they cost a fortune. Um, but you can get all the bits and do them yourself. But yeah, quite enjoy the sweet steampunk. Uh, you've got sort of feathers from the oh yeah, Pete got feathers I added this year. Yeah, I've got those from from Hobbycraft and the little coggy bits I've added, um, some bits and pieces, and just like drilled them and screwed them on and stuff like that. I like making things, so that's cool. Daniel, you love fishing? Yeah, we like carp fishing. Yeah, really enjoy it. We've got an amazing fishery we go to where you can actually park the motor home right on the lake. Um, so you're right, not right, not not on it. Sorry, right on the pitch by the lake. So you basically you can set up right next to your motor home, fish straight out, and it's it's amazing. And it's only like thirty minutes away from where we live, so it's great to go. But this time of year they get booked up really easy, so you've got to book in advance to go. But yeah, enjoy it. Um, Pauline looks great. Oh, thanks, my hat. Yeah, yeah, I like it. And, a lot of the clothes and stuff, I've just got like charity shots and stuff like that and just add bits to them. Yeah, that's good fun. Also, can you hold them up closer to see the details? Or is that, are we still talking about tattoos? Stephanie, sorry, I'm missing, I'm missing my interpreter here. She's, she just disappeared. I can't move that up. It's, it's, it's not touch, is it? Um, no. Can you hold them up closer to see the details? What do you want us to hold up, Stephanie? I think she means tattoos. I think, I think she means the jewellery. I think. What are you talking about? What do you want us to hold up? Oh, the jewellery. Oh, jewellery. Thank you. That's the... Not oh. mine. Yours, probably. Oh, this. Oh, that one. If you. Yeah. There you go. Mm. It's it's very worn because I wear it every day, but it's a George. Yeah, it's really difficult to see, isn't it? Where's the camera? Yeah. No, it's really difficult to see. But it's a... I'll take it off a minute. Um, I'm sure it's not in 13, yeah. Um, and you might be able to see inside. That's the other side of it, which is the George and the Dragon. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. It's your favourite, isn't it? Your favourite. Yeah. Yeah, every day. It's really weird because it's just showing. Yeah, I've got a laptop yeah. sat here so we could, the, the laptop keeps up with the chat with his <coughs> iPad, it disappears every now and then. Mm -hmm. That's a special bit of jewellery for you, isn't it? Yeah. No. It certainly is. So, what were we talking about? I love fishing, Daniel. Yeah, I was just what saying, do you Daniel. Oh, right, sorry. Oh, it's not saying what he fishes for, I said we like carp fishing. All oh, right. Yeah, so what do you fish for, Daniel? Where is he? He's in the States. Yeah. Oh, probably like sea fish. Sea fish, I'd say. Or cat. Fish for cats? Catfish, right. Catfish. Yeah, no. In the sea, they don't. No, no. Crap, they take. That's your, just your typing again. Ah, oh, you eat them. Nah, we put them back. My favourite fish is fishing for compliments. Fishing for compliments. Quinn just said her favourite fishing is fishing for compliments. Yeah, she doesn't catch It's very much. Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> you did like fishing when you were younger, though. Yeah, for a week. Yeah, you enjoyed it, though, didn't you? You used to take your fishing. <laughs> anyway. It's as though you just talked to yourself, Marie, because she's hiding down Sorry. in the floor there. Yeah. Mm. Oh, somebody's left. I didn't say bye. Bye, over left. <laughs> it's a bit late, they've left. I'd like to say bye, I might want to come back and watch the rest of it later. What do you think? Oh yeah, because we leave it on, don't we? Yeah, maybe we need to go for a week. How long have we... 79 minutes. Yeah, we've we done well through. over there we're again, haven't we? Mm. Yeah, we do that because we just like to chat. Yeah, we need to try and just get our hour timer. I think an hour is long enough, isn't it? Mm. Um, and they say we've got anything else to ask or mm. we'll just wrap it up. Yeah, no thumbs up. So that is good, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, quite pleased with that. And we also oh. hit 400 subscribers today. Oh, which was, yeah. Well done. Thanks, Quinn. Yeah. <laughs> it was a little internal celebration. I know you shouldn't focus on the number, but it's nice when it happens. 
Thank An AMD that says it isn't, then. It's taken long enough. Isn't it? Hardly. Eh? It's taken long enough. It's been doing it for oh, years. Okay. Oh, years. My, my, my channel's only been up a couple of weeks, and I'm already on... The dog. 6,000. Six yeah. Oh, the dog six, is... Sorry. Can you hear the dog, Karen? The dog is well and truly snoring. Oh, picking up that. Yeah. Yeah, Karen's just said, is the dog yeah. snoring? Thanks, Lisa. Can you hear him? It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we're quite chuffed with that. Yeah, but it's fantastic. Lisa, have you been on our channel for long then? Wait, have you, what, have you saw the older vlogs and stuff? We need to not be quite, all I can hear is Percy snoring. Yeah, yeah. He's literally in a bed just down there. Percy. <laughs> And he's just doing his little pug snore. Pauline and I has been around for a long time. Mm. Watching the vlogs. And Karen. Karen as well. Yeah. Me and Karen find each other at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Well, you find each other in different times. On the hashtag not yeah. small creator. Oh, that's so nice. if you are in this room and you're a creator, you need to search on Facebook for hashtag not small creator and join that group if you haven't already because it is amazing. I've never seen such a encouraging group ever. And the creators yeah. in there are just unbelievable. They just done a massive snore there. Unbelievable, that wasn't me. That's the dog. No, the dog, yeah. The dog. Anyway, we're going to wrap this up because we're now 81 minutes. Yeah, I think we should. That's yeah. long enough, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I need to go so, to bed soon because I'm getting up again with Brody in the morning. Yeah, I'm trying to challenging try Brody. To, well, it's not a challenge. I'm just trying to see if I can cope with it as well. The dog's so funny. Yeah, it's and not so, funny. man's excellent. Thank you, Lisa. He is. He's, oh, he's been quiet now, actually. I'm so sorry you can hear that. Somebody else just said the dog's so funny. Pauline. <laughs> yeah. He stopped. He's just moved a little bit and then just stopped. Mm. But yeah, thank you everybody for yeah. dropping by. We really appreciate it. It's, it's quite nerve wracking gone live. So thank you so much for oh. giving up your evening to join us. And yeah, we shall call it a night. There will be a vlog up moving Quinty Uni probably tomorrow or Saturday. Yeah, ten thumbs up. Yeah, it's pretty cool, Karen. Yeah, nice yeah, one. Enjoyed it. So make sure you tune in for that. Hit that bell if you've not already. And subscribe if you haven't already as well. That'd be amazing. Mm. And we'll be back next Thursday live. Yeah. Thank you so much for making it a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. See you Take again care. soon. Bye. Bye. -bye. Yeah.